Hey guys, it's Jammin' coming back at you with yet another video. And for today, I am going to be showcasing off something that I have been really excited for. Something I've been waiting to get my hands on for quite some time. Came home from work today and this beauty was waiting for me at the doorstep. And so I'm really excited. This is from Amazon Prime. Uh, something I've been wanting to get for quite a while now. And I wanted to get it before it went on eBay for way more than what it's worth and so I went ahead and snagged one up right quick at the retail price the retail asking price and so here it is right now and guys it's been a long time since I've done like a toy video like it's been a while uh, I've been mostly pushing out you know uh, blu-ray videos hauls uh, filming locations stuff like that um, and other things but it's been a while since I've done a toy video and so I think it's the appropriate time to go ahead and show off uh, something that yeah, I've been waiting to get my hands on and that's what we're gonna do today um, I think the last one I did was actually the Pennywise figure over here from NECA and that was like back in September I think so it's it's been a while I'm long overdue for a toy video but here we go we're gonna go take a closer look at this thing at the desk and just see what's inside so stay tuned so I'm sure many of you were wondering, what was in the box? Well, here it is. <laughs> we have the Halloween 112 Collective, and that is from the good people at Mezco. The purpose of Mezco is for you to open and display, and that's actually one of the things that they have here, is pose, play, and display. And so, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you should already know that I'm a huge, huge fan of the Halloween franchise. Uh, this is one of my favorite horror movies ever made, or quite possibly even one of my favorite movies even ever made. It's definitely up there in the top ten. And I just, I had this on my wish list for quite some time. And here we have it right now. And this thing comes with a collectible display base and adjustable posing post. I don't think I'll need that. It comes with a tombstone, a lighted pumpkin, the ghost sheet, a knife, two knives actually. You get the bloody knife and a a uh, a clean knife. You also get posable hands. And if you so choose to build dioramas, you can actually make him pose in some of the movie shots like coming down the stairs. There's the closet scene, and just other different things that you can do with this figure. This thing looks amazing. I am super happy that Mezco made this possible. So, let's quit wasting time. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look at the Mezco Michael Myers figure. So, it's like I said a little bit ago, I have been long overdue for any kind of toy review or toy haul. It has been a long time. But it looks like the pumpkin itself, these are the instructions of course, the pumpkin itself comes with uh, two batteries and you can plug that into the pumpkin and light it up if you so choose. And then it also has a removable head. And also note, if you do get this, do not apply pressure to the glasses on the ghost sheet because they are, uh, do not apply pressure to the glasses on the ghost sheet. When switching heads, you may permanently remove them, and that is something I would not want to do. But that's really neat that the interchangeable heads can move out to this ghost here from that iconic scene. But yeah, guys, this is everything right here that is included with the with the Mezco figure. Of course, they do give you a little bag to put all your accessories in, which I think is a neat touch. And here is the Myers figure himself. I already took off one of the hands. Um, I'll put put one back on real quick. You do get these these interchangeable hands, of course. Like you get like this strangling hand. And as you can see, the fingernails are actually well detailed. It looks like he's been doing some uh, some digging around in the graveyard, getting this thing 
and this thing is actually really neat. Uh, this is a, I haven't seen this since the um, since NECA put out. I believe it was the evolution of Michael Myers figure, but this is made out of like a poly resin type deal, and I like I really like this thing a lot. This looks very well detailed for a headstone. So you get that, and then of course you get the pumpkin, and I already put the batteries in, and we'll light that up here in a second. And then other interchangeable hands, you get a closed grip fist, so you can have him holding one of the knives. There's also a a fist, as if it looks like he's getting ready to give someone a good stern punch in the face. And then he also has another, for his left hand, a uh, another hand that you can put a knife in if you so choose. And so, yeah, these are the interchangeable hands. I'm really liking these ones. It looks like he's going out for that stranglehold, like in the scene whenever he got out of the closet, or when he awoke from the closet and went after uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's character and started strangling her. And the ghost sheet, and that looks very well detailed. You can see the glasses on there. And you want to be very careful when putting this on his head if you do decide to uh, display him with this piece because, it, like it said in the instructions, you do not want to break these glasses. And then we have the display piece from that iconic original movie poster. I think that is super awesome. Love that thing. And you can see me. Hey, guys. You can see me because it's very shiny. It's very glary. It's... uh. This is a very beautiful display piece. I am, like, very impressed with Mezco for making this thing possible. This is way cool. Happy to have this in my collection. And so, but yeah, guys, that's the Mezco uh, Myers figure. Uh, all the accessories and all that good stuff. So, the 112 collective figures are designed to display in a wide range of poses. But as with any high-ended collectible, care and consideration be exercised when handling. These are not toys and are not meant for children. They are designed with adult collectors in mind, such as myself. All 112 collective products are intended for ages 18 and up. And I have surpassed 18, so I would say these are safe for me. So let's check out some of the poses that we can put Mr. Myers in. So the thing with Michael Myers... And, you know, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the, ma the, the mask, the face. You can see his eyes very well back in there. Uh, the suit is made with a cloth material, and he does have a lot of posability. He's got ball joints in the hands, so they can move anywhere they want to. There's a ball joint in the head. You can rotate, swivel, move up and down. does have a waist swivel, uh, so you can get an ab crunch. Not very far. Uh, maybe mine's just a little stiff. The uh, knees bend, elbows bend, shoulders go up and down, ball joint on the feet. They can move anywhere they want to. Um, yeah, this is a very well detailed figure, I think, in my opinion. But here's the thing with Michael Myers. Well, from the original film anyway. He doesn't really do a whole lot of poses, you know? He's just the shape. He's just there uh, to stalk and intimidate. Um... So I don't really know what kind of action poses you'd want to get out of him. I mean, I know you can do, like, certain things with the knife and stuff and maybe the stranglehold, which I'll show off in a minute. But, you know, he's just, he just kind of stands there. The most that I've seen him do, really, like, for posability in the movies is, like, just move his head, like, up and down and, like, kind of, like, side to side, you know? Like whenever he's just killed somebody and it's like he has to like reflect on what he just did and it's like he's looking at art almost. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah. Let's try that. Let's do that again. Hmm? I think that's actually really cool. But yeah, you can... Um, I got him right now with the fist on the left hand holding the knife on the right. So here's that pose if you want to get him looking like he's getting ready to kill Bob where you can have him holding up Bob if you can find like a character that resembles him and getting ready to go in for the kill with the knife. 
And then, what's, what's really neat about these knives is just how ridiculously well detailed they are. That is just amazing. It's just like a real kitchen knife. And then, of course, they have the bloody one if you'd prefer that one instead. And then here's this move. You can put them in like a stranglehold if you so choose to make it look like he's getting ready to strangle to make it look like he's getting ready you can get him in this stranglehold move to make it look like he's getting ready to strangle Laurie Strode or is strangling Laurie Strode I should say that would be really cool if the mask had come off and made it like a rubber material but it's a solid plastic and that's not gonna come off at all um, but the head is interchangeable. Um, I've seen a lot of people do some great custom work with like stuff like this. And so, so yeah, you can get them in that stranglehold if you so choose. And this is by far my favorite pose right here with the pumpkin and the headstone and just looking crazy like usual. Alright, let's try one more pose and see how that one looks. This one I'm really excited for. And then here he is with the ghost sheet. Cute Bob. Real cute. But man, I am just blown away by this figure. Uh, Mezco, if you're watching, thank you so much for this figure. This is something that I've been waiting to get my hands on for quite some time. And they just killed it with this figure. And it's just, I think that this is probably going to go in one of my top 10 figures of all time. I'm not kidding. I'm really liking the posability. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the interchangeable hands. I'm liking the tombstone, uh, the pumpkin. This looks super awesome. And guys, check this pumpkin out. And then, there you have the pumpkin. It looks just like a jack-o'-lantern lit up. That looks crazy, and it looks just like the one from the opening shot of the film. So yeah, guys, you can get some really cool poses out of this Myers figure. It, I would say it's well worth the retail price. Um... If you hurry now, you can still probably get it at the retail price, unless it gets on eBay. I got mine at retail. Uh, unless it goes on eBay from secondhand uh, buyers, or sellers, I should say, and then it goes for uh, double, usually triple, who knows. Um, you gotta beat the, you gotta beat people from eBay. I hate to say that, but I know they're trying to make money somehow, but, you know, I'd rather, I'd much prefer to pay the, uh, the retailer price. So I am super impressed with this thing. Love it. love the detail of it. It looks just amazing. This is an amazing figure. Um, I hate to say this, but NECA it looks like looks like someone has um, outdone you for the Myers. And so, but yeah, love the poses. Love everything about it. And uh, if you can build dioramas, you can recreate any scene you want to, pretty much. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my uh, review of the Mezco 112. Michael Myers figure be very careful with this display piece you know because it can scratch easily so when displaying him I would highly recommend just you know maybe using like a thin plastic or something because mine is already starting to get a little scratch on it and so but yeah and this I should say this tombstone right here stands perfectly without any problems I'm really liking this figure and really satisfied and happy with it. So uh, I'd say it's worth every penny. Um, Mezco, like I said again, thank you so much. I hope I did this review justice. Uh, and uh, I uh, I hope we get some more like this in the future. Hope Mezco keeps doing horror stuff. And so, yeah, guys, that's my review. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll talk to you next time. And I will leave links in the description for some of the other videos that I've done that's Halloween related. I have visited the filming locations. I've shown off my entire showcase of everything that I own that's Michael Myers related. 
And so here's something else to add to the collection and all that good stuff. And so, all right, we'll talk to you guys next time. Before I go, I just want to say that this guy is going to have a nice happy home. The night he came home here in the shelf with all my other horror related stuff. And I will display him proudly. Very happy to have this figure. <laughs>